is running out to vote early in the primary runoff election. Polls close in one hour. After that, voters will have just one more chance to make their voices heard before November. CBS Austin's Melanie Torrey joins us live, and Melanie, turnout has been notably low. It has been as of this morning, 97% of Travis County voters had yet to participate in this runoff election. About an hour ago, someone walked up to us and asked, what is this election for? Those who are getting the job done today tell us that they hope their neighbors will make more of an effort come Tuesday. On the last day of early voting, dedicated voters were making time to cast their ballots. We need more people to get out and vote right now, especially with all the, the challenges we have in the nation, and it all starts local. By Friday morning, just 3% of registered Travis County voters had participated in this runoff election. But some hope procrastinators will step up come election day on Tuesday. I know it's still going to be low when all is said and done, but I just hope that at least come election day, people will, will realize what's going on and, and come in and uh, do their duty. One of the races to watch is the Republican runoff for Attorney General. George P. Bush is challenging incumbent Ken Paxton, who's facing years of legal turmoil, including criminal indictments for fraud. Even Senator John Cornyn weighing in, telling reporters, this is the chief law enforcement officer of the state of Texas, and it's a source of embarrassment to me that that has been unresolved. In the same race on the Democratic side, Rochelle Garza is facing off against Joe Jawowski, and Democrats Michelle Beckley and Mike Collier are in a runoff for the lieutenant governor's spot on the November ballot. The political experts know anything can happen. In a runoff, anything can happen because then it's all about turnout and who's able to mobilize the people who not only voted once in the first round, but in the second round. Polls close tonight at 7 and then Election Day is on Tuesday. To see which races are on your ballot, just find this story on CBSAustin.com. Reporting live in Central Austin, Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News.